Hello, my name is Rashida Nalumoso. I'm a creative producer working with 32 Degrees East um, on the Clark Art 18 Public Art Festival. Yeah, and I'm Nikisi Saramaga. Um, I'm the programs manager of 32 Degrees East, and I guess I was the project lead on the Clark Art Festival, which is really great. And Clark Art is essentially um, something of an extension of our residency programs. Um, where artists were given three months to be able to create work that was then installed in site-specific or performed in site-specific places in and around primarily downtown Kampala. I think I've been thinking around the question of how we navigate space as a cultural organization that wants to bring artists together with audiences and work with the informal economies of downtown Kampala um, and acknowledge our own, I guess, privilege as an arts organization, but how do we cultivate new audiences and new audiences for the artists that we work with? Um, so therefore, it made, public, it made a lot of sense. That's obviously why we situate our public art festival downtown in city locations, non-traditional um, arts uh, spaces. Um, we're trying to find new ways to present platforms for creative work and have that exchange. Um, so I think that that's an ongoing conversation that we have around the way we curate work. Yeah. So whether it's working with Nakasiro Market, which is one of the biggest markets in downtown Kampala, or on Chiambe Lane, a road where a lot of local tailors are situated, and one of our artists, for example, um, made a project which was created with offcuts from tailors' work that we hung from a building, and it was that opportunity for audiences to simply look up and to somehow transform the spaces that we work, live, and play in through art, which really is very rarely seen in such downtown locations. So that's our kind of motivation around the way that we wanted to deliver the work. And I think we're wanting to draw attention to that way of delivery as an act of making a change in the cultural systems of how we receive and consume art and culture making, particularly when it often is boxed within elite spaces um, and comes often associated with uh, a certain audience who would go to those spaces and it's like it's not for me because I'm downtown and I think just to like add on to that we're also operating if you look at a really big context we're operating within a city that produces a lot of art or invents a lot of material objects and has a lot of regular performances but they're not classified as art then we're an arts organization that exists within an arts economy um, that produces yes maybe for our scale quite a bit of art this arts economy but in terms of how much it interacts with or penetrates areas outside of its own comfort zone, which is quite a small circle, um, this is very limited. So Clark Art is definitely an exp I would say that especially with the way that we did this particular one, it was a really like pop-up style way of entering the city. And when I look back on, we, didn't, I, we made that choice, yes, consciously, but when I look back on maybe some underlying factors that were even making us make that choice, Kampala is a city of many, many, many little explosions everywhere all the time. And there's so much stimulus and so many like encounters and connections and sparks of electricity that are constantly being made. So it also makes sense for us to be in a space and then be out of it. And if you missed us, if you missed us while we were there, that's it, we're gone. And also in doing that, I also learned um, that I feel like that was a really good way to represent to interact with the city, because then you're not going in, taking up space, holding space. No, you've come, you've started a conversation, we're always open for more. We don't always have the resources to be doing it every day, all the time, but also by the fact that we ran for a month throughout August, definitely creates space for people to keep coming back and back and back to us, and for our presence in one particular area not to be just a overly instantaneous. Um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. And from dance to installation, performance, uh, visual art, we were interrogating the ways that you can also present those kind of works in themselves as different genres. And I think, I hope, pushing the boundaries of the usual reception of those kind of art pieces. Yeah, I think so. And like to get really specific about some of the projects that were there and how this manifests is a conversation with the city. We had one of the performers, Jared Onyango, he'd been workshopping with Ugandan dancers for three months. It's very beautiful pieces. And the piece was called Juakali, well, the project was called Juakali Pedestrian. And it was about how people move through the city, how our steps and the traces of us, the traces of us on the city are very limited, even though it happens every day, all the time. 
And so we had dance performers that were doing step walk style performance, as well as walking on sheets of paper and leaving their literal footprints with ink on the paper, ink and paint. Um, but then as he was performing one of the pro parts of this project in the middle of Chiembe Lane, which is quite a busy, very congested one-way street, um, the dancers were there and they were running around in circles that cover the width of the road. Really hilarious, really ridiculous. You can laugh, it's okay. It's a little bit ridiculous. And they're there in like these bright clothes and overalls. And then a car starts coming. Jared decides that, no, it's okay. We're not here to stop traffic. Just let the cars roll through <laughs> over these dancers. And then also then, the Buddha Buddha guys, these guys who ride like motorcycle or taxi kind of thing, they just decide to form a line to stop cars from coming through anymore. And then I'm like, no, 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 it's okay, it's fine, let the cars come through, we shouldn't be stopping traffic anyway, you know. And they're like, no, 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 finish your work, just do the thing, finish the thing, and then we can move on. And I was like, that is such a great way to be able to interact with the city. We're not disrupting business, we're adding something to your day. It was also really important that we were doing this outside of people's businesses because they can't also walk just down, even, even down the road to go and see the work, you know? So you have to really go to the people um, who you want to reach if that's what you say you're going to do. And definitely like there's limitations and what, 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 what. But I would say that overall, some of these performances and some of the responses from the audiences, I mean, they're not gonna come to 32 tomorrow and be like, hey, what are you guys doing? But definitely there was an interaction with the city that I think opened people's minds about how you can consume art, who art is for, what the purpose of even putting these things on is. And that, for me, was like a really productive situation.